And we do that. And today marks the day where the second Ace Book character comes to Epic and We got Ning Ning right here. And I'll be honest, on paper, she doesn't look too crazy. It's one of the things that I was like wondering about. If they collab with a band and there's like one character that's just not good, <laughs> doesn't it like, I don't know. It, it just looks bad, no? So we got Ning Ning here. Pretty much she already does what existing units does, kind of. Her S3 is basically DJ Bazaar. And her S2 is basically like an Amelia, kind of an Amelia that needs uh, um, effectiveness to work. So it's like a combination of DJ Bazaar in Amelia. And she doesn't actually have high base speed, but I mean, anyways, here's my stat. I don't know how I have 100 crit, but I do have 100 crit. And I guess I want to build my Strasse back. I feel like I could use the guy. So first things first, with Ning Ning, you, you have to bring her against like barrier or else she'll kind of be a sitting duck. Like she will not do anything on S3 unless there's barrier, right? So try and fight like arrows with barrier. I'm not sure how this will work out, but I'll give it a shot. So there is a barrier character right here. My highest attack character should be Strasse right here. So yeah, the idea is I'll barrier invert them, bring them up down by a little bit, get Strauss in a turn, and hopefully nuke off a higher, the highest HP character, which will be Arrow L. But the problem is, how am I going to do with the Bellion? If I should counter me, and this girl will counter me, I'll, I'll just die. I'm going to just try it out anyway, and we'll, we'll just see what happens. I will say I don't think I'll win, but let's just try. Let's see if maybe the Baron version would be insane. Who knows? System hacking, let's go. Go with the Baron version. This will also give me an extra turn because 50 CR, it's doubled, so yeah, 100. And here we go. It'll be the first time I'll be looking at her uh, sort of animation as well so pretty pogger and yeah oh oh that looked beautiful okay now we go with butterfly effect this will also decrease some of the cr and i have really high uh effectiveness right so hopefully i could push like say well back i don't know if i want to do that but you know what let's just do it we hit the rule well, this should push her back and we get a crit as well and wait what? Okay, I guess for some reason I had a higher attack on Sin. Never mind. Whoa, there seems to have been a mistake. But, oh well, we'll still do it and we'll see. Maybe it works out in the end. Sin will go and we don't even kill, dude. We don't even kill, man. Right, we effectively lose. I don't think there's a way, but I'll, I'll still try. Let's one kill that right there. And somehow Strasley just has to one shot like a billion. And we have to also crit. On this Aiden girl. If I don't crit on Aiden, she'll counter and I'll lose. So very bad. Let's go. Hopefully we do crit. Uh, we do crit. <laughs> oh my god, I so don't deserve it. The thing is, we might still lose. I mean, I have a tap buff, speed buff, crit damage buff. Okay, you know what? I I, I win. I win. <laughs> oh no! Whatever you do, do not get Aiden back. Uh huh. I am not afraid of this girl. I got stuns. It's 30%. How about I just stun here, huh? Okay, that's like the sickest animation, dude. It's literally a bear sitting on you. Now go Warhorn on, which I don't feel... Uh, I don't even know if that's right. But hey, the, you know, look, look at the bright side. They'll all have a lot of barriers. So hopefully we get to invert them again soon. This I'll do as one for now. And how do I have more attack on Sid and less attack on Strazay? What the... So what the hell is my attack on Strazay? I have 3.9k. Wait, what? I have 3.3 on Sid. So... Why did I push Sid? Increases the attack of the ally with the highest attack. What? Am I missing something, guys? Like, I'm sure I'm missing something. I just don't know what. I have 3.3 on Sid. And on Strasse, I have 3.9. So why is- Why is he not pushing Strasse? Wait, what? I'm so confused. I'm, I'm so confused. But whatever. This one should be pretty easy, though. But this is like, I don't know. There's so many things that could beat this. Firstly, I'll put a cigarette. It's like a free win. Secondly, DJ Basari is also a free win. And thirdly, I guess... Ning Ning's also a free win. Let's try it, I guess. They got a lot of barrier going on. So yeah, Baron inversion should go crazy here. And I should strip them all because, you know, I also strip here. So yeah, hopefully we do strip the immunity, strip the escort and everything. Mainly the escort. So here goes I Ning Ning or A Ning Ning with the beautiful PNG on her S3. Right, now I got Butterfly Fly. So I'm going to try this again. How did I push sit there? That makes no sense. I'm going to push one guy back. I'll probably push the um, hand guy back because he's going to be... Yeah, look, what? Why am I pushing Sid? What am I missing? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. And here's the issue as well. I mean, I would rather have flat here because I would have had crit damage buff or I would have had Shrazay here and I would have one shot somebody. But now I don't have both of those. So I only have a Sid that could just not kill. And thankfully we do. Right, so we got to push up there. And yeah, there's a Vivian coming on. I'm kind of afraid. I guess I'll try and kill. Uh, okay, there we go. God, Sid, you're too good, no? Next up, I guess I'll try and kill you. But yeah, can somebody like explain why my Sid got pushed and not Strasse? I'm so confused. Well, anyway, so Strasse will finish this off. Should at least. Bang, and I do. Okay, all right, Mr. 74 health. All right. Well, you know what? If there's any value on her, it's on S1 with the stun. Oh, there we go. We go with the stun, I, I suppose. This should never get resisted. And bang, there we have it. A perfect victory. Not as perfect, actually. Why am I pushing Sid? What am I missing? I swear it'll be something stupid. And then, you know, people in the comment will be like, ah, ah, you're stupid. You can't even read. Right, follow my lead, shall we? Attacks the enemy, decreasing CR. I don't care. Increases attack of the ally with our highest attack. 
Except for the cash rate for 2% increases CR by 30. The ally with the highest attack should get the buff. Why is Sid getting the buff when he has 3.3k while my Strauss has 4k? What? Here comes the places where she might be absolutely dog poo against a speed contestant. At least on this build, like if you go for a DJ Bazaar build where she has ER, okay, maybe that works, but I just don't see you somehow having ER and have effectiveness because you kind of want to utilize her SP strip, right? Like that's the that's also a big thing. Yes, bear invasion, but there's also a strip. So if you only have ER, you're not going to strip anything really. But I don't know. I don't know. Well, I could go for the outspeed route, I suppose. Honestly, if you're using her, I think you have to play aggressively because with DJ Bazaar, he's got like healing, but with Ning Ning, you've got no healing. You could probably put Celestine or any artifact that heals, but I don't think her kit allows her to heal enough because as the S2, there are no artifacts that allow her to heal on S2. Only S1, Celestine, or S3 with Rod or something. I'll still fight this, I suppose. I'll still fight this. Right, I guess we'll give this a shot. We'll, we'll try this out as well. Ning Ning is supposed to push the highest attack character, which is Pavel in this case, with fucking 5k attack, okay? If I don't push Pavel, then it's bugged. Which I would rather not push Pavel, I'll be honest, but you know what? What can you do? So here we go. We do outspeed, thankfully. But yeah, this should never happen. I don't see how a normal person would have Ning Ning outspeed. Like a Lily is, at least. And somehow they don't have barrier. I thought you are supposed to have barrier. Wait, you don't have a mass skill tree on? Aren't you supposed to have barrier if you're using, you know... I thought if you're using Aerowall, you should have barrier on light units. But I'm just so confused. I'm supposed to barrier invert and then S2. Guess not. I mean, I think I can still do this. I'll do this. There's no system... Uh, there's no barrier, yes. So I'll only get 50% CR, but at least I'll strip, right? So there we go, the strip and resist it. I've got 170 effectiveness and this thing just resisted. So yeah, basically, long story short, I lost, no? Unless I kill this in... Okay, wow, Sid. This will be a Sid video again, dude. It's just too good. Right, now I'll just have to kill this noise right how am i gonna deal with okay how much so i get three souls from this that is huge i'm gonna kill shu with this and i'll get enough for the soul ring to stun the meru i suppose i guess that's something i don't know <laughs> the thing is if meru gets to do s3 i lose or oh, i could do this oh wait that is pretty good at least in this situation i'll do this push you back and you counter attack me you counter attack me kill it please Oh, 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 oh my god, you are too good at this game. I'll do this, you come back, and you just... Ah. See, Flan would have been fine here. I would have been an ice character. I would have been an ice character. Or DJ Basar would have survived this or some shit. I, I don't know, man. All right, maybe... Ne maybe. Firstly, why? I thought you're supposed to get barrier on light characters, no? What can I say? This video is just filled with questions. All right, another thing is, if you don't know speed, you lose. So I'm not going to bring her against a Zeo. Unless you're doing the ER build, I guess you could try, though. I mean, it makes sense to have her on speed build, I think instead of a DJ Bazaar build because you want to be aggressive, right? She has a tap off. You want to be aggressive. She has no heals. So you want to be hyper aggressive. That's what I think at least. We'll try this this time. I'm not sure how this will work out, but we'll try. Hopefully they have a barrier this time. Like they should if they have like characters on. And yeah, this is what normal should look like. What am I facing, man? But anyways, we will just quit this. So proof of valor degen uh, reverse. So let's keep her like, you know, watch, I suppose. Now we'll do system hacking. We'll get rid of their um, barrier. So this will do quite a bit on the uh, Bellin as well, which is nice. And again, a resistance on her. So yeah, again, Ning Ning's effectiveness is just not high enough to really do this, right? I don't know. Maybe I'm just doing the wrong build. Maybe I should just have the ER build. So they, if they go like, see that is, takes the first turn, I can still move and then, you know, do, do my thing. I'd rather not because I'm spending 1 million gold just to switch, like, you know, switch gears, which would be lame. Right. Also, that's like kind of bad because my, this time she pushed Commander Power, which is the right one. So I'm like, what? How does it work? So you just push whoever you like? I don't understand. Right. I'll kill somebody and I have to kill it quick. I have to kill the Destina, and that's my only way of potentially winning. So that kills you, but you counter me. Great. And that almost kills my entire team, and this does kill my entire team, so that is GG's. Okay, you know what? We'll try the DJ Bazaar build. I think maybe she needs the ER. Oh, dude, this will be so expensive. God damn it. So yeah, maybe something like this, I guess. And then look at this. Her infant concentration is affected it, so that's like contradicting. Oh yeah, she doesn't cleanse. She doesn't cleanse. I just realized, dude, I need doctors back for this. Wait, she's just so hard to use, you know? Right, how about this then? So instead of trying to end them quick, we go with a Ning Ning that's slower and resist them and then invert all their barriers because, you know, Emma Lilith also gets a barrier. So yeah, we'll try this out. And then we also got Landy, which will be pushed and she'll push uh, Ning Ning back. So it's like, you know, they reciprocate each other. So we'll find out if this works out. There is a Selene there, which I'm worried about. But there we go, we resisted. Just like what the G DJ Bazaar would do. And here's where I do system hacking and get rid of three of their barriers, but I don't know. This will proc, I mean, DJ Bazaar would proc uh, Selene as well. So we got Dr. Doctor, Spag as well, so we cleanse everything. And this goes to hit 
freaking, uh, uh, what's her face? Uh, freaking FCC here, which is kind of worrying. One more thing. My land is like counter, and Ning Ning only pushes for 30% CR, which is not a lot, I think. And I have to hit the enemy for Butterfly Elect to work, so I can't even hit Aiden, and I'll, I'll die if I do. So I guess my only choice is to hit uh, freaking... That's the already at zero CR character, because otherwise it wouldn't do anything. So this will go ahead and hit uh, FCC. FCC might die here, but you know what? There's no way I'm surrounding freaking Aiden and a single target who likes the lane. So this will go ahead and hit FCC for a lot. And yeah, I don't know. Am I going to beat this? I'll be honest. How am I going to beat this? I'm not going to ask two for now. We'll save that. Let's just try and kill uh, F uh, this girl if I could. Right, I'll get stunned here, but I think we should be fine. This is where... Like, you know, counter, uh, counter build characters just shine, like, after the turn one. We go with this. Landy is my healer, because Ning Ning couldn't heal. Well, I got a Doctor's Bad, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's not anything massive. Right, so I got one turn until Butterfly Effect again. I got two turns until System Hacking again, so... S1 right now can only stun, but I have no effectiveness on this build, so I couldn't. Guess I'll try and stun the only one that could be stunned. There we go, we do stun. That's good. Right, now we'll do S2 on probably Arrow L, just to get a lot more turn on Landy. So, bang. Get a little bit of push on Laddie. That should be beautiful. Bang. Okay. That hurts, but it's fine. We'll do this. We'll heal up again. Ning Ning should be the pusher up again soon, though. So, hey. I guess this is, like, a working engine. This, like, does a lot of damage. Look at that. They are being destroyed right now. Got butterfly effect again. And I can't really hit Aiden. She'll evade and hit me. So, I can pretty much only hit Lilius here. We'll push uh, Laddie up right there by a little bit. Alright, we'll strip that and hopefully we counter the Selene here. It would be really good if I do. Bang, counter, thank you. Alright, good heal right there. And now, hopefully we kill off the, uh, this girl, but we did not. Alright, counter again, good. Yo, this is cringe, no? I just realized I should have had Laddie at the back. What am I doing? Alright, anyways, we counter here again and... There we have it. We got Baron version again, but if I do this, Celine has it again, so... It attacks a random enemy, though. Should I do it anyway? You know what? Nah, I don't think so. Let's not do that. That's stupid. So we'll just hit this. We don't stun, which is fine, I suppose. And yeah, I think we just win. But, you know, I don't know. I feel like, why don't I DJ Bazaar? You know what I mean? DJ Bazaar would have been safer, but yes, I don't have a tempo, but he would have been safer. But you know what, though? This comp does look fun, you know what I mean? I keep pushing Laddie. Laddie keeps pushing Ning Ning, and then we keep, like, recycling like that. So, not too shabby, I guess. But I just don't find a reason why I wouldn't just DJ Bazaar instead. So, you know what? That's all I have for Ning Ning. I'll be honest, I think she's kind of hard to use. Yes, 3 does Baron version. That's good, but... Pretty much that's all it does. The despelling two buffs will only work if you have effectiveness, which you won't have if you go for a DJ Bazaar build. And if you do have effectiveness, you won't be able to outspeed, say, uh, Lilius. And Lilius would just control you. And if you do outspeed, you're gonna have, like, insanely high speed, which honestly is so hard to get a high, high, high speed, right? Like, Lilius will always outspeed you. And if you don't get effectiveness, you get ER, then, well, it's like, why not you just DJ Bazaar? Because with Bazaar, you get a heal and you get a cleanse. With Ning Ning, you need a doctor's bag for the cleanse if you're trying to get turn two, right? And the S2, I will say that 30% push is not enough. It's very low. Like, a melee would just push 50. The S1 is pretty much like a DJ Bazaar S1 stun, but DJ Bazaar has a heal and she doesn't, but she gets more CR if you stun. So you kind of have to have effectiveness on. So yeah, I don't know about her. I feel like she's very average. Very, very average. And DJ Bazaar is just more versatile and safer, I suppose. But yeah, I guess if you want to pull for her, go ahead. She is a limited character, so always try to get a limited character, you know what I mean? But I'll be honest, I don't think she's that good. I don't think she's that good. So, you know, go crazy, but if you want to save the pity for maybe something better, you could. I feel like you won't, you know, I, you, you wouldn't want to miss a limited, but you won't be sad to miss this one, unless you're like a simp, which I totally understand. If Bay Chloe was in the batter, I would totally pull for her. But yeah, that's for today. Good luck with your pulls. You're trying to pull, uh, pull her, and yeah, take care.